it's really cool to be able to just come come up with a completely different character and play that for that short period of time. These adults are telling the story to Johnny, and we're not really seeing it through Johnny's eyes. Everything is sort of looked at through adult eyes. The main difference with this special episode compared to years past is that this one incorporates a lot of the same actors in each of the different segments as opposed to having a full cast. For example, John Lindstrom, who plays Craig, I believe has five different characters in this piece and he's very different than all of them. Maura West has three that are very distinctively different. The Cinderfella piece was a lot of fun. My inspiration for Barbara and the sisters was a little combo of the B-52s and Amy Winehouse. I wanted to give them a little rock edge. It's really about the eyeliner. When we did Cinderfella, we decided to go with sort of a nouveau riche idea. Let's just buy every piece of jewelry and every color and every piece, and every garment. We thought it would be fun to do the three girls in the same patterns, in the same, not necessarily the same garment, but in the same pattern. Cinderfella, that's the one I had the most fun with, because we shot right here in the set, um, and I got to work with all the ladies. We were all in here just goofing, you know, and riffing and having a great time together. I really enjoy doing Pinocchio a lot. What kind of hairstyle do you come up with from Bug? Coming up with these sort of knots all over her hair and then have the pieces coming out like little ears. By the end of it, when it was complete, she got out of our chair and actually started acting like a cricket. It was great. Um, for Pinocchio, hair was the most intricate part because they actually had the length of my hair pulled up in a little knot so behind my... Pretty, it was pretty. <laughs> oh, the longest character to prepare for was Rumpelstiltskin because they had to actually paint a latex layer on my face. When you pull the skin really tightly and then apply the latex, and then when it dries, when you release it, it sort of it wrinkles the skin. Of course, when you're putting latex on top of skin, to the naked eye it may look fine, but once it gets on camera, it's not going to look like skin. Your, you know, your skin has a lot of different colors in it. So that, that technique is called stippling, and you take different skin tones, brown and red and peach, and it really speckled all over that latex. It makes that latex look more like skin. The Wizard of Oz, we took Dorothy and we sort of did her sparkly red, and the guys are sort of rock and roll-ish, and, and we had a lot of fun. So we're so lucky to be able to come to work and like do, and to really just have fun. I just hope that, that people look at it and get the same kind of charge from watching it as we did from making it. The real important part of this piece was to entertain, and I, I really hope everyone enjoys it as much as we did.